You see, I don't normally visit schools um, dressed like this. I'm, a, I'm here in Western North. This is a school that I have heard so much about. Queen's girls, Queen's girls. I never knew the school is here. I'm just using the Bebeni Road to Rio also, and I happen upon the school. I said, Jesus, I have entered the school. This is the first lady of this school. Her name is, what's your name? Benedicta Ando. Benedicta Ando. I like her vibe. Bene, they have heard so much about Queens. What is, what is so interesting about this school? They want to know. Okay. So Queens Girls Senior High School is one of the best schools in the western of region of Ghana. And it is the only girls school in the region. Hey, and yes, this is the only girls school in western The only girls school in the western of region of Ghana. And it trains girls to be more disciplined and responsible adults in their nearby future. How old is this school? The school is just 10 years old. 10? Yes. Hey, so you don't have a lot of alumni? No. The school is just 10 years old and it has been able to train girls to be uh, accepted people in their society. When you go to Legon, Tech, UCC and the various university, you find our students today and they are really excelling well in their various courses. I, I believe this girl. You see the way she's talking? <laughs> I believe her. I believe you. So, Bene, now, parent, of course you've heard about Queens, but you didn't know this is how vibrant the school is. You like her vibe, Abby. <laughs> if parents are watching you, Bene, are you sure? Uh, uh, which religion are, uh, are you from? Um, religion. I'm religion, from, like? I'm a Christian. You are a Christian, so you don't tell lies. No, I don't. Bene, can't tell lies. I don't tell lies. Okay, parents are watching you. Can you, can they bet on your words that if they bring their child to this school, they will, they will excel? Yes, their children are going to excel. Because the teachers here are hardworking. They train students to be disciplined. So even if your word is no good, they'll make sure that at the end of uh, her three years stay in the school, your, your child will be excelling in wherever that uh, she'll find herself. Yes. Awesome. What's the name of your headmistress? Miss Evelyn Doris Akwa. What do you like about her? She's disciplined. She, like, I, I like everything about her, her dressing, her talking and everything. And she's a caring and loving mother too. Amazing. She loves all of us. I mean, how did you become the head girl of this school? By election. Was she won election? Yes. So you competed? Yes. With how many people? Four people. And you won? Yes. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. How is it like dealing with the student body? How hard is it? Some, How cool are, is it? some are difficult, but I've been able to do all that I have to do. Because you have to give me the respect, as I also respect you, because they say respect is reciprocal. You respect me, I also respect you. Amazing. So if they don't respect you, what do you do to them? I just report them to those in authority to give them the necessary punishment. But I myself, I don't have to punish them. I'm just the representative of the students. Amazing. I don't have to. Amazing. Who are the core people you are working with? Your prefect? I have my protocol prefect, my prep prefect. What are their names? They want to hear their names. Okay, so our protocol prefect, we have Sister Margaret Anoche and Sister Celestina Fusia. Our prep prefect, we have Sister Edina Usu and Sister Edina Chumwa. Our chaplain prefect is called Sister Veronica Ama. Mm. Our entertainment prefect is called Sister Lovia Jesse. As a sports prefect is called Sister Christian Owusu and Sister Comfort Amwako. Then we have the various house prefects. We have the Agubeche and Nana Jebi. When you take the Nana Jebi, we have Sister Patricia Chenubal Kodia, Sister Emilia, no, and Sister. Information, we are so. The guys, we know something. Amazing. Guys, it's my time here at Queen's uh, Girls Senior High School. So interesting. I'm so, so much happy being in this school. Yes, of course, she has said everything. So um, if you're choosing a school for your girl child here in, in Ghana, I mean, of course, you see the quality they're producing over here. I have, I have left a number in the description box to this school. Get in touch and then see if you can get admission. It doesn't come easily, though. If you come here with a uh, friend at grade 50, you <laughs> see... Entrance here, I'm going to do one catch on the best of day. My name is Evelyn Doris Aqua, the substantive headmistress of Queen's Girls Senior High School, the only girls school in the Western North region of Ghana. Amazing. Now, how long have you been the head of this school? Two years. Two years. Wow. So, madam, I want to find out the time that you're going to be the head of this school, from now, from the time you started till 
maybe you go on retirement that is if they keep you here or you, you get transferred to another school what is it that you have on your mind or in your heart that you want to see it manifested in the school what I want to see manifested in the school and that of the children is for them to have holistic education to be able to further themselves in various, te various tertiaries and also to be able to go out there, those who cannot go to the tertiaries, they can go out there for the field of work and those who cannot even also work, they can lead a responsible adult life Amazing. in the community and the society in which they find themselves. Awesome. So, Madam, do you... Um do you embrace extracurricular activities? Here? Yes, please. We do a lot. We have the cadets over here. We have the drama group. We have the dance group and a whole lot. So a lot is going on over here so far as the extracurricular activities are concerned. Awesome. I understand the school is just 10 years. Yes, please. Ah. How are the old students contributing to the growth? Actually, you could see that since it is 10 years, most of them are now in the tertiary institu institutions. Exactly. But the very few who are in, in the field of work, they are contributing their quota Amazing. to the development of the school. Amazing. So that's it. You know, you, um, of course, you are just 10 years. Maybe you're not really, really, really deeply established in life yet. But of course, um, the days are coming where you are going to be become financially sound, strong in the community and all that. When that day comes, please, don't forget about Queens. Bring your substance to this school. Let them use it to build the school. Because, because all of you are the major stakeholders of the school. Of course, the government will do their best to support the school. But your substance should come here. So that when people are bragging, all the schools, big, big schools that you keep hearing the names, it's sometimes not the government who is giving the money. It's the old student. So you're going to do the same thing for Queens. So that one day when we show up on the table and we are bragging about our school, we not go and hide. We can also say that yes, I'm from Queens and all that. If you do that, give this video a thumb sign and then share the video with those alumni that you belong to. I'll see you again very soon. Ninja, Ghana, okay,